Hey guys, Ace Wave here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing the One House Challenge, where I'm only allowed to loot one house slash building. By the way, I'm counting fluid loot that is technically part of the house, even if it's outside, as part of it. But it has to have something underneath it that connects to the house, and it must be within two, well, walls or floors. Okay. Purely because, just to make my this whole thing easier. And yes, I was intending on dropping there. I changed my mind and drop here. So during this challenge, I wondered. Uh, well, I really just thought that it'd probably be likely for me to be able to win this challenge, but it's still not going to be too easy. I was hoping it'd be easier than some of my other challenges. It was not. But, during this whole thing, was quite interesting. And this is actually going to be one of my longer videos. Me complaining about how short these videos get purely because of lack of footage last time? Can't do that for this one. You'll find out why later. But... I also forgot to mention that I won't be able to loot anyone, so I'll only have one mini and one med kit for heals. By the way, if I could afford the gold to recruit an NPC, I would not. Just as an extra challenge, I never get enough gold to do in the first place. But in these challenge videos, I will not do that. So, well, I have to eliminate this guy. Or girl, don't know. I run over there, loot, actually pick up a medkit, drop it, because I'm not cheating at my own rules. So, anytime I open a chest, I'll just take the mats and ammo from it, because that's the one thing I'm allowing myself to pick up. And gold, obviously, because I cannot drop it, and if I can, I have no idea how. So, I was just collecting a bunch of mats, as it was more convenient. Came over to this 7 outpost. Forgot which one I used. Where, okay, I forgot which one I used, to be honest. So, I came over here to use the rifts, because I remembered there was some over here. By the way, these videos are only partially scripted. So if you ever hear me like stutter or just question what on earth I'm saying, it's because it's probably one of the parts that isn't scripted. Purely because it gives those funnier moments when I just talk like this. But back to me describing what on earth's going on. So, I got here. The, that person tried to attack me. I didn't actually see them when I was gliding down. But if they start a fight, I will join the fight. Even though I kinda can't risk taking any health or shield damage. Because there's no way I can restore that properly. <laughs> Without wasting it for later. I found this car. Thought, why not? And just started driving it. And, yeah. Come over here. Because, you know, closest area to loot. Don't really know why, but here we are. So, I was just driving through stuff. I think I had like a challenge to do that, and I just thought I would get it done with while doing this. I don't know why I really wanted to drive into this person's the how the wall, but I I did. I don't know why. By the way, I would recommend using visual sound. Would not be able to tell people like this person were inside of that house, purely because visual sound is a thing. Also. Switching seats and vehicle takes a while. And I can see it was a Spider-Man. A red Spider-Man to be exact. So I knew not to be scared. Because <laughs> it's a red Spider-Man. I'm not scared of those. So, I just started shooting. He gets out, I get out. Runs away. Understandable. Have a nice day. And I started driving yet again. For reasons I still don't know. And I take a car. A less damaged one to be exact, because... Oh my... 
That car needed some repairs. So, yeah, I just keep driving up this way. And doing, well, my thing. I start doing things, I guess. Once again, another unscripted part, so um, you'll just hear me make stuff up on the spot. So I was just going through here, going up to this little area that I remember some of my friends were questioning where I was once. No, wait, that was for the desert one where I was going to make a video on where it was, but then realized, wait, you could just Google this. I just started to drive around a mountain, and yeah, so um, I just started driving down now, almost right now, fall off a cliff apparently, it's been a little while since I've looked at this footage, so I um, well, just went down here to go loot. Some ammo boxes and materials. So, now I start going through here and doing, well, whatever. I think there was like a visual sound at the time. I don't remember, as once again unscripted, and I'm not looking at my screen. Well, now I am, but still. Once again, just searching ammo boxes would always recommend because good XP. And then I start playing this player. And finally, I don't win a challenge on my first go. I don't know why I'm excited for that. It's best you don't question why I'm excited for that. As I just hear that alien song in the background. As I was wandering in the map where I should land. And I chose that. By the way, those rules I put in the inside of the um, beginning part of this episode mostly apply to where I was while I was there because there is loot on top of the building and directly to the side and I wanted and I wondered if it counted tell me in the comments if you think it counted heck just comments if you've got this far I don't really know if people do get this far in videos so um yeah comment if you do um comment like, I don't know got there or something Okay, so I had this green SMG. I passed the gray one because I don't need it. I actually do eventually need it, weirdly. So, um, yeah, this is part of my script actually. So, foreshadowing! I hear another player using both just hearing and visual sound. I see them and I eliminate. I think it was probably a bot because they were trying to break through that when they could just walk through. I was looking for that chest I could see in the visual sound. Wondered if it was there and found it. I got my assault rifle and my sneaky snowman. So, I just wandered around, opened another darn ammo box, saw a chest on visual sound, wondered if it was underneath me. By the way, this area would count under the rules I laid out, but I didn't really have the rules properly set up in my mind at the time. I was more so just writing down the rules as I went. Purely because, you know, the outside loot was a little confusing. So I chose to keep that a little more vague in my own mind, so it's like one or two spaces, I just didn't notice how far it was. I found the big pot, so I chose to get to full shield. Because I will only probably have like one mini for the rest of this game when it comes to healing. Really because I didn't pick up those bandages. Once again, didn't know if they count at the time. Please say if you think they should. As I just picked up the SMG that the person dropped, because I could tell it was the one that was dropped over here. Now, I'm also, since I already did the other game, I'm going to skip around a bit because you already know how this will go. But as you can see, I see an, an, an enemy player, probably a bot as well, and uh, eliminate them. Quite an easy elimination. So I uh, go ahead, pick up some ammo. 
open a chest for more ammo and gold. And I edited, I cut over forward quite a bit. By the way, for most of this game, I was just hanging out in this car, just switching seats and air in random places. That's not even a lie for most of the game, that was what I was doing. Purely because I got bored while doing it. I mean, everyone gets bored. This was like a week ago from when I'm doing the audio for this. So yeah, I could just drive forward and going along. I found this bush, chose to hide it in case any players came around so I could surprise them. Because when I can only heal 25 shield, I I need to be able to hide. But does this bring up one of my favorite eliminations for this challenge? What you're about to see. This guy was trying to get the um um the reindeer skin people. I actually do not know their name, and I just eliminated them. You will not believe how long I was actually just waiting there for them to be eliminated. And yes, I just edited a few seconds later to pick up the loot because I left it there, see, waiting to see if anyone was there. I threw some snowman down to make it look like if someone was setting a trap, they would be the snowman. Got back in the bush and waited. Nothing happened, I must add. I literally just waited in this bush for something to happen and nothing it did. I thought I edited this out of the footage, by the way. So, um... This was not intended to be in the footage, and I'm not... I really don't have enough energy to go back over and edit this. So, I'm not getting rid of this. This video needs extra runtime anyways. But yeah, I was just looking around to see if there's anyone there. And I was just doing stuff. Now I'm running to a car I left by here. Didn't actually use the car. Even though I was, if I ran correctly, I was originally going over there to use it. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't have any reason. Then now they're seeing that, other than seeing that big pot and thinking there might be a llama over here. But then this player started walking over. I think it was a Zoe skin. If so, that's most likely a bot or just a real de a player who played ages ago and just has no idea what they're doing at this point. And now I got a chicken. At this point, I straight up and nothing left scripted. This part just says, just reactions and going with what I have. I am too lazy to write a script very much. So let's go with it! So while pouncing from tree to tree with chicken, Mr. Cluck, I mean, Sir Cluck's a lot. Yeah, Sir Cluck's a lot of chicken. Yay. Yeah. And letting them go, be free, Sir Cluck's a lot. And I just hide in this tree for a while. To be honest, in all fairness, I would probably not get this challenge done anywhere as short as I did. If I don't hide them, please. Could probably take like a few hours to edit through that footage if it was much longer. Must say, it takes like hours to edit this footage together, I must add, which is the reason I'm not re editing some parts. I decided just to walk around here. I see this launch pad. I use the launch pad. I see someone of us was fighting. I was originally gonna join the fight, but then I realized I could just launch away yet again. I was going to fly to this tree and failed. So I decided to go to this house, hoping it was in the circle, and I could just try and sneak up on the final player. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but my friend says I like flexing all my subscribers by showing more battle pass my higher battle pass skin tiers. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm really not intending on doing that. And now time for the cool part. So I drive up with this quad, hit the banana. That banana's been in the fridge too long. I must slice it into perfectly diced pieces for an iced banana smoothie. 
I go under my own builds, and I shoot, almost die, switch to my other SMG, and yes! A victory royale, or crown royale, whatever it's called. Goodbye, have a good day, a good life. Hooray for me!